So good morning, everybody. My name is Vishnu Dutt. And as you can see, we are going to start learning computer networking absolutely from scratch, right? So I have Punish with me. I have Dhaval with me. Prashant is the Prashant also uh, is going to be here. So first thing first, I would li definitely would like to set the uh, uh, some some what we can say that how you are going to ask the question uh, how 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 long this meeting is going to be and how many sessions are going to be we are definitely going to give all this information to begin with and here is that right so first thing first you do not need to make any notes and the reason is that everything whatever we are going to learn over 30 40 hours it is going to be recorded okay and it's going to be recorded in pretty good quality means 4k quality and uh, you can you can watch it on at your any time but this doesn't mean that you are not going to uh, pay attention over the live session and the reason is believe me there is tons of material available on, on internet whatever we are going to learn it is everywhere right but nobody is going to see that it is going to be very, very important that you come into this session, you pay attention to these sessions, and then uh, basically, if you have any doubt, any problem, then you go and watch the recording. Recordings will be available maybe after eight to 10 hours, or maybe possibly uh, 12 to 13 hours, because it takes a lot of time to render these long videos, right? So first thing first, you do not need to take notes, right? And as you can see that we are more than 90 people. So if anybody has, uh, question in their mind, right? You all can have question in in your mind. So it is going to be very very noisy if all of you are starting question, right? So what what is the approach here is that you are going to raise your hands as and when the question come to your mind, and uh, this hand raise I can see directly here. The moderators, Dhaval and uh, Punish are going to see them, right? And they can immediately inform me or basically inform me. Uh, uh, after a particular time, right? So every half an hour or 40 minutes, based on the uh, uh, session, what we can say, the flow, I will take a pause of 10 to uh, 10, 20 minutes to take your questions, right? There are two ways. Either you can raise your hand if if you feel that my question should be answered immediately. Otherwise, uh, this session is not going to be important for me, right? So raise your hand. Uh, there is a, a question and answer section. Uh, just below uh, on the right hand right hand uh, side right uh, if you can see you can post your question and answers there right so if you can uh, uh, not on the chat not on the chat and few guys are saying not audible at my end is it is it happening for everybody or uh, uh, only for uh, manisha kumari it's fine, Vishnu. Here, it's perfectly it's fine. fine. Me, right? Okay, perfect. So basically, what you need to do is just raise your hand if you feel that uh, my question should be answered immediately, right? Otherwise, you can type your questions, and Ponish and Dhaval are going to help me with your questions so that I can take those questions in those 10, 20 minutes whenever we take the break, right? Uh, the so first thing is you do not need to take the notes question uh, whatever comes to your mind raise your hand or write the in, in the question and answer panel that is it right uh, and let's start let's start computer networking from scratch i definitely do not expect that you have any knowledge on networking right and that is perfectly fine if you do not know abc or even anything about networking these sessions are for you right so let's see the agenda because it is going to be very very important to know that how what is the agenda of today's session what we are going to cover in next couple of hours or maybe three hours right three hours are looking really uh, uh, long but believe me we are going to take two breaks of 15 minutes as in when when we get bored okay so <clears throat> here is the agenda and i am calling this session as session number zero because this is absolutely required to understand networking in itself so in today's session, we are not going to talk about the routers, the switches, or, or how all the computers in the world are connected, right? But we need to understand few things to learn all those router switches concept, right? And believe me, 
if I am spending two to three hours in session number zero, it is important. And I would say it is one of the most important session if you are starting your networking journey. And if you do not know anything about computer networking, that is perfectly fine, right? So uh, here is the agenda. And what agenda says that if you do not know anything about computer networking, basically we are here for you. Me, Punish, Dhabal, Prashant, everybody is here, right? And one more expectation for this session is that if even you are not, not getting, if I have written somewhere 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, and if you are not getting even this statement, it is absolutely fine to ask, right? Otherwise, there is no point of sitting in these live sessions. You can watch these videos anytime, right? So whatever is coming to your mind, even this simple thing, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, and that is not making sense, please do ask, right? Because your questions are going to make these sessions interactive. Your questions are going to make these sessions uh, uh, pretty, uh, what we can say, uh, obvious to learn, right? So if you do not have any knowledge, this session is for you. All these sessions are going to be you, right? So people ask me that what is the prerequisite to learn the computer networking? And the only prerequisite is that you should be curious enough. If you are curious, you can learn the networking, right? Or you can learn anything. So I don't say that you need to go through these 14, 15 hours of videos or you need to read some blog, something. No, absolutely not. We are going to start absolutely from beginning from here, right? If you are curious, it is my responsibility to actually let you know the computer networking and how it works. So me, Punish, and uh, Dhaval are the network consulting engineers here. We consult for the customer. We work for Cisco, right? And whatever we see in our daily life experience, we are going to share it with you, OK? So it is uh, because we all are going to be on mute. So uh, and it is uh, I, I'm sitting here in my home at the front of the computer. It's just talking. It's just like talking to the black screen, right? But here are our fictitious characters. So uh, just like means I was I was uh, seeing one video and uh, these people were creating characters uh, uh, which makes sense to them, like Alice and Bob, right? You must have heard about these these characters' names. So what we are doing here is we are uh, uh, we are creating two fictitious characters, Anjali and Rahul. And sorry for the spelling mistake. This is not Rahul. This is Rahul. So Anjali and Rahul, Nam to Sunai Yoga, everybody, right? So <clears throat> these are going to be us with this complete course. Uh, I'm not talking about today's session. They, these, these characters are going to be uh, with us in the complete course. And then let's start talking about why exactly we want to send message between two parties, right? Because this is the whole sole uh, point of learning computer networking. The meaning is if I want to send some message to my friend who is living in the United States or maybe I'm, I'm in Bangalore who is living in Delhi, then why at the first place I want to send the message, right? We are going to discuss it. You must be thinking this is pretty obvious, right? Sending message is important to us. That's why we are sending. And absolutely, right? Then <clears throat> we are going to think about that how would these two computers, means if I say that's perfectly fine, if I'm talking about two human beings, how these are sending messages to each other, the whole sole point of this conversation or the session sessions is that how two computers are going to communicate, how two computers are going to send messages to each other, right? So I'm not saying let's learn right away, but we can at least start thinking about it that how exactly these two computers are talking, right? And maybe I need, I, I, I may need your input here. You can raise your hand if you want to add something on top of it, right? But the session decorum, it can only be maintained that if you raise your, uh, if you raise your hand and then say that I want to put anything, right? On top of it, whatever you are saying. And here is my problem. When you start thinking about that, how two computers are going to communicate, it is a complex problem. I'm not saying that it is hard to understand, but yes, to, to the beginner, it seems complex. And that is why we are going to understand everything with an analogy. And the analogy we are going to take is the postal service, right? Right? 
So anal analogies are not going to be absolutely perfect. Analogies are imperfect. That's why we call them analogy. But yes, those are very, very important, uh, very, very uh, uh, required to understand the computer networking. So we are going to see the postal service, right? And you all know that if there is a big complex problem or the puzzle too, right? What we do, we break down this puzzle. You all, you all are engineering graduates. You know the power that if we can break this puzzle into multiple pieces, and if you understand these multiple pieces and combine them together, then probably we can, uh, we can understand this puzzle better and we can solve this puzzle in an efficient manner, right? So whatever we are going to learn, whether it's computer networking or something, we are going to break that problem into multiple pieces. We will learn those multiple pieces individually. And at the end of that, uh, uh, at the end, we are going to combine it, right? This should be the way. And believe me, uh, this is the way how these complex uh, solutions are built. Because at the end of the day, this is the problem, right? Computers were invented in 1900 and along with 50s, right? I could see that basically there were computers, right? So the problem is how we are going to send the messages and this is a problem. And if this is a big problem, let's divide it and solve it, solve the individual pieces. So we are going to learn this way. And then <clears throat> at the end, if you see, uh, uh, we are going to uh, finally send that uh, how two computers are going to send the message. And this is not to the super technical level, but how what do we observe from the postal service we are going to implement exactly the same thing between the two computers and see that whether there is any inefficiency in the postal service or how we are going to send the com uh, to to uh, uh, the messages between two computers right and it finally and believe me we are we haven't discussed anything with respect to routers switches and how they are connected uh, we are not going to talk about in this this session is going to be uh, the discussion session, overall discussion without any uh, 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 super technology or super terms involvement, right? And basically, I am not a good fan of this terminology, the complex terms. What we are going to do is first we will understand the concept, and then I'll say that this, um, this whatever we understood just now is known by this in the industry, right? And finally, I'm going to tell you what is the basic idea and the expectations from this course. Having said that, let's start. Agenda is very, very important, guys, because this is my promise, right, to you that in next two or three hours, you are going to learn one of the most basic or the fundamental things which you need to learn computer networking. And believe me, out of all those 10 sessions, if I give you the, uh, if I, if I want to share the priority, of this session, it is going to be number one because I presume you do not know anything, right? Having said that, let's move to our first board. So I can see that there are 13 minutes which are already gone into uh, setting the agenda, but this was important, guys. So, okay. And here you go. The first board. The first board says if you do not have any prior knowledge of computer networking, that is perfectly fine, right? And this, this is the session for you. So the whole sole point is that anybody can know, but the point is to understand. What is the difference between knowing and understanding? I think you all know that. It means if you read something, if you have the data, anybody can have uh, access to that data. It means that you know about that, right? But do you understand that data? What is the meaning? What exactly information you can infer from the data? That is exactly the understanding. Our whole soul point over this 10 sessions, so, uh, over the 10 days are going to be that we are going to spend more time in why behind concept. That why at the first place this concept came into picture, right? And believe me, if you understand the why behind it, it is going to be with you for longer period of time. You are going to understand it rather than knowing it, right? The only prerequisite for this course is that you should be curious. And I know that you are straight, uh, you are coming out of your college, right? You are into the campus. There are so many questions, so many doubts in your mind. 
and that's what i need those doubts those questions to be part of this course also be curious if you are curious believe me you are going to learn computer networking like piece of cake right it is not difficult at all i have experience of around uh, 13 14 15 years punish has the same experience dhawal is also pretty experienced guy right we are going to share your experience and with my experience believe me guys computer networking is one of the simple topic to have to learn right having said that let's move to our new board the second board our curious characters these are two curious characters anjali and rahul these are going to be with us for entire duration right i think you all know these characters these are from <clears throat> one of the most famous hindi movies and you all know about it right so now these two curious characters are actually talking uh, uh, talking to each other and they are saying i do not know anything about networking and this guy is continuously saying that the computer networking is easy it was not easy right anjali is saying to rahul because i have read the tenenbaum bomb at the tenenbaum book and that says a lot about the networking there are so many concepts so many layers right data link layer network layer router switches and then basically the connection then the routing protocol there are so many things right anjali is uh, talking to rahul and rahul is replying that let's let's put some uh, some time let's put some uh, 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 effort right at least we should listen to this guy for next two hours and within next one or two hours we will come to know that whether it's easy or not right and believe me it is easy right so these are the curious character which are going to be us and maybe if you are not asking questions these guys are asking questions these are uh, these guys are ask, going to ask questions right having said that let's move to the new board which is why to send messages between two parties right and by the way guys whatever i write here in this small font right the red color actually this is not for you although you can read it but if this is not for you and the reason is this is i write so that i have some point which i need to discuss on on a particular board so that is what i write here so maybe sometime it is not going to make sense to you right because it is for me having said that here are uh are two characters again anjali and rahul and basically if i want to talk about in terms of devices then we have two laptops also laptop a and laptop b and you can see that these guys are miles away I means if i literally consider this is the world map then basically anjali in, on, on the world, on the uh, one part of the map and the rahul is on the other part of the map right let's let's think that they are far apart and then we have laptop a and we have laptop b right and if and of course anjali cannot shout and send its message towards rahul right and that is why anjali needs something so that his messages can be propagated towards rahul which is really really far away right or the vice versa too if rahul wants to send some message again anjali is pretty far right so basically because of the distance you need that these messages should, should be delivered how where, how these messages are going to deliver we are going to see that in next ten sessions but yes we understand that there is a need to send the message and similarly if we talk about the laptops right if laptop one is a has a particular file maybe the name of the file is abc.txt it has some important data which needs to be sent from laptop a towards laptop b which is at the other part of the world then we need something right over which we can send this message okay so basically the number one thing because these two guys these parties are quite far away and that is why we want to send the message right because they cannot hear us if we are sitting inside the same room we can talk we can share information we can even share the files right just take this file on a hard drive or maybe on the floppy disk or maybe on the cd drive or whatever the pen drive right and you must be thinking that what what this guy is talking about what is floppy disk 
What is CDs? Because nobody used them, right? So unfortunately, we are from that era, right? 14, 15 years back, we were using CDs. We were using the floppy disk also even before that, right? So you can take this file if you if somebody is sitting here or maybe is sitting on the other floor also, you can give this file, right? But this doesn't make sense if the other guy is sitting in the US and you are in here in India. You can take that file abc.txt, you can, you can fly and then you can deliver, but this is going to be very, very costly, right? So we all know that because of the distance, we need something over which our messages can flow, right? And the second thing is, of course, sending messages is important because there must be some important information in those messages, right? So we all agree on the fact that, that basically, if you want to live in this world, then message sending is one of the most important requirement because this is part of your communication right interesting so let's see that that if you want to send the message then let's start thinking about it right that if you if two computers want to send the message because this is what we are going to see in this complete course then what exactly the thought process and that is why i have written here let's start thinking about it i'm not saying just send the message right so the first thing first which is going to come to your mind if laptop a wants to communicate to laptop b doesn't matter if it is if you are on the first floor and this is on the ninth floor right doesn't matter if you are on the same floor also but you do not want to go with that uh, pen drive right if you want to send some information from here to here it doesn't matter whether this guy is pretty near to me or far away. I want to develop a system so that I can send a particular file or particular message from laptop A to laptop B. It is as simple as that, right? Right? So first thing first, what to send? I need to decide that what exactly I want to send. Maybe you are going to say that I am going to send abc.txt, right? this is one of my file i want to send this but actually over the computers are you exactly sending this file is it a physical file which we see uh, right which is uh, uh, used to store notes or something like this right it's def definitely not a physical uh, file if it is not a physical file then what exactly it is Right? And if you have learned about the computers, you all know that computers doesn't understand anything and it only understand the bits, which could be one or which could be zero. Right? So at the end of the day, somebody or some program is going to convert this abc.txt into 1010, right? And these bits are going to be flowing over a wire or the wireless media we do not know right so basically first thing first you should understand that what you are sending you are sending the bits how you are going to send those bits right you can send those bits bits over a medium right and what is that medium right the medium is for example in case of normal uh, human communication if we have rahul here we have anjali here and maybe they are say 10 meters apart now they are not globally apart guys right and if rahul wants to send send some message to anjali and of course he sh he is because they are 10 meter away so he has some louder voice and he is saying hi anjali how are you right so can you think what exactly coming out from the rahul and reaching to anjali's ears there are the sound waves, right? And those sound waves need some medium to travel. We all know about it. And that medium is exactly your uh, air, right? Sound wave travel through this medium. And that is why Anjali is able to hear it. It is as simple as that. The problem is same here. But is the wave is coming out? No, the sound wave is not coming out from here. We all know 
that inside this computer, whatever is coming out, it is going to be 10101, right, which are the bits value. And laptop V is only going to understand those bits value. It is as simple as that. So we need a medium which can take this bits from one place to another place, right? And it should not be always the bits because nobody has seen this bits, right? But through the electric current, we can say, or the voltage we can say, if it is a five volt, then it is representing one. Or if it is a five ampere of current, it is representing one. And if it is zero volt, then basically, it is representing zero and we all know that the current can flow through the copper wire so maybe if we can connect these two guys with this green cable from here to here right then they can take these bits because the bits is not flowing the flow the uh, actually the current is flowing and now this computer is able to understand that if the current value is 5 volt then basically the remote computer is send, uh, saying that this bit value is 1 otherwise the bit value is 0 it is as simple as that right so first thing first if you want to send a message to other party or the other computer we need to think that what to send and at the end of the day we are sending the bits it is as simple as that right we need something which can carry these bits and that is you are going to be medium right and here we are talking about the medium which is actually your copper wire right can only copper can take this no there are even light can take uh, take those bits in the form of intensity of that light i think you have read about the total internal reflection and you have must heard about some of the cables which work on that light principle So medium should be there. The third thing is that where I need to send this, right? You must be thinking this guy is mad. He's only saying that laptop A wants to send the message to laptop B, but where exactly this laptop B? We can have so many laptops in this world, right? To identify a particular laptop where exactly you want to send the message, because Rahul, suppose this laptop A is Rahul's laptop, laptop B is Anjali's laptop. There are so many people in this world with the laptop. How you are going to identify that I want to send this message only to Anjali's laptop? And if that is the case, then you need some mechanism for the identification of the receiver receiver means who is going to receive your messages right in this case this is anjali you need to identify it maybe you can give a particular address to it right we all do this in real life so one thing uh, believe me whatever the concept you are learning whether you are learning network security network uh, how two computers are talking or anything right most of the guys who have developed these concepts are humans right and they think humanly and that is why they take example from the real world if you understand the why behind if you understand the real world problem then definitely you are going to solve it otherwise it is going to be problem right and i'm talking about problems and solution but here our job is simply to understand what these guys has done right maybe in coming future you are going to be inventors but first thing first, the whole sole idea of this session is that you are actually learning whatever other guys has developed for you, right? I think that is comparatively easy job, right? But yes, sometimes I say that this job is kind of a difficult too. And the reason is because these concepts, how two computers are going to talk, have evolved over the period of time, 20 years, 30 years, right? And there are so many people who have built this concept from the scratch so many and you are alone who are under who is understanding complete uh, philosophy of all these guys and that's why because you are learning the concept developed by so many people right sometimes it is maybe overwhelming too but believe me just understanding what other guys have developed is it is going to uh, take quite less time and that is what we are doing right we all know that now in today's world laptop a can communicate to laptop b 
we all know that right what we are doing here is we are just trying to understand that what is the philosophy behind it how these guys initially thought that and and one thing if you understand that philosophy then you are in the state of mind of these people who have developed it and if you understand this problem and if you understand the mental state of these people then definitely you are into the mode of solution provider right and if you can provide the solution then you can learn them pretty easily so you all know what that what we uh, what we are talking about that we should understand that what we are sending we are sending the bits we need a medium whatever the medium it could be the it could be the wireless medium too because we all know that communication can happen wirelessly too we talk on the phone right there is no wire attached to it the medium can be wireless we also know that if we want to send this message to a person out of so many people there right then we should be knowing how to identify that person out of the group of so many people right we need some addressing we all do this in normal real life right if i say that you need to go to building number 11 right or if i if i say that you need to meet a particular guy then you must be asking that where exactly this guy is it means that i will be telling you that this guy is in building number 11 floor number 2 of the cisco cessna campus right and then you can go and meet it right it means that you need address to send those devices but is this enough right if you have a wire and if you connect two computers then then that wire can take the pieces right 10101 but who is actually converting this piece of information right from this bits value to this current there must be some intelligent device there right and it could be the possi possibility that these two devices are not connected directly right suppose if i say that if you want to talk to a guy who is sitting inside the united states of america right and i say that just have a wire attached to device and communicate you must be thinking this guy is again going mad right we can't do that and if these guys are not connected over a single wire then basically who is actually taking my bits maybe right maybe some entity is there maybe some person is there who is taking my bits passing to another person other person or another computer device and sending it to here right what are these devices because i am pretty sure that i cannot connect a particular computer from here to united states but maybe i can connect to a nearby computer but maybe that computer is connect to another computer right but how this computing device looks like what is runs running inside it how it is decoding that whatever i am sending suppose this abc.txt say hi how are you right and if i am sending it over 101010 right how this guy is able to think that okay abc.txt TX, this is actually whatever you are sending is abc dot txt and whatever is written is hi how are you right very very interesting problems it means that we can think about how to computers send messages to each other but definitely we cannot provide the solution right away right whatever we can think till now it is very very important information but it is not the only information we required to make two computers talk it means we need some brainstorming so if we are 90 people here there is no doubt about it that if you no, do not know about anything about the computer networking and if we all have decided that we are going to solve this problem that how two computers are going to communicate these 90 people are going to give me some great ideas and believe me if we implement them there is no doubt about it that these computers can talk right because most of us in this group maybe some are pretty good with respect to the solution some are pretty good with respect to the uh, coding spec right or some are pretty good uh, with respect to how to maintain and manage the team right and if we have these 90 people there is no doubt about it that we can definitely solve this problem we can do something
and that is exactly what was happening around the area uh, around the era 1970s when people were talking about this problem that we actually make try to make these two computers talk and there are so many people who has this interest businessmen also has this interest because they know that if anybody can make these two computers talk then we are doing some revolutionary things right it is going to change the mode of communications right that is why the businessmen are into it right because they can sell this communication interesting pretty interesting and as i mentioned that if i put all these 90 people and basically for maybe 2 3 months they are going to give you the solution definitely if i send a if i send something from this computer a towards computer b it is going to be there right but this is going to be the ad hoc approach maybe if somebody is here who is pretty streamlined then he might say that we need to solve this problem right the problem is not straight forward so what we are going to do is we are going to divide this problem into multiple pieces maybe 10 people can work on this piece 10 people work, can work on this piece and 20 people can work on this piece and at the end of the day what we are going to do we are going to combine them right and make a solution and exactly that is what happened in 1970s time too many people many computer engineers were there in a room or maybe basically uh, different rooms also but at that point of time there was no communication right no communication network so every time they need to be part of that conference room or a big hall where they are going to brainstorm it is as simple as that interesting right so overall what is happening guys we just give it give it a thought that how to computers maybe send a message to each other we we could figure out that yes we need few things we need something called medium we need something called how to identify this but we also understand this is not a problem which can be solved in a day or two we need need to sit quietly to understand this problem and basically to give a solution out of it it is as simple as that right so because it is already implemented the solution is already there so what we are not going to do is we all not coming together sitting in a room and discussing how to solve this problem because it is already there what we do need is we need to understand how these people in 1970s solve this problem and that is why what i am going to do is i am going to take an analogy analogy of postal services right and believe me the next four boards are going to be very very important for you and the reason is although i will be explaining how the postal service work but at the end you will be amazed to see that many of the things of this computer networking has been taken from there all right because postal service is there from maybe 200 300 years but the computer network scheme just 30 40 years back it is as simple as that right so let's talk about the postal service how exactly it works right here you go right the problem is simple the problem is anjali maybe she lives in delhi suppose these are the fictitious character they can be anywhere in the first board i told you that those are world apart right but now i am saying anjali is living in delhi and probably rahul lives in bangalore suppose right so uh, <coughs> there is a problem the problem is anjali wants to send a message and because rahul is approximately now we are talking about distance right we are talking about 2500 kilometers the distance between delhi and bangalore approximately right and of course anjali cannot shout you must be thinking what's the big deal anjali should maybe uh have a, have her phone and just dial it believe me even that 
that the phone is also working on the principle of these communications right what we are going network communication which we are going to talk about right and suppose you do not have anything like that you cannot talk over the phone because phone were not there at all so delhi and bangalore 25 kilometers apart anjali tried to send something to rahul and that is why she has written a letter right here is the letter and we all know that one what anjali whatever the piece of this paper of course it is going to contain the message maybe the message is hi rahul how are you and then so many things whatever right so this paper is going to be whatever the message you have written anjali has written it is being folded and then anjali is going to put it on this envelope right put inside this envelope we all know it maybe you you don't know about it much because i don't know that whether i or you have ever sent this some some, some letter like this because nowadays email is available phone is available whatsapp is available but still the postal service is there because most of the letters which you which are delivered to you by the banks or something else the policies right policy provider they are still using the postal service of india or maybe anywhere else right so anjali has written a letter she has folded the letter the paper and then she put that letter inside this envelope right we are taking a letter and why i am repeating this once again right because when we discuss the same thing in computer network people find it difficult to understand right why because they have been taught like that this process is known as encapsulation right i have used that word encapsulation which i should not because we are not talking about the terms in today's session but believe me if you feel that what is the encapsulation the meaning is simple right you have a particular thing which cannot go right so you are taking help of something else by putting this most piece uh, most important piece of information inside this right so you are taking some piece you are putting it inside that and that is what is known as encapsulation what is going to go right who is going to see uh na uh, so if i if i talk about that this letter should go from anjali to rahul this letter is going to be inside this envelope envelope is the thing which is seen by everybody right i'm not saying that nobody can can uh, tear the envelope to see the letter anybody can do but we trust the postal service that they are not going to do this right we are doing encapsulation but if you do not like the word that is perfectly fine but these words are going to be there when you see i can i can teach in entire session in entire uh, syllabus whatever is there without using any term but it is going to create problem right because today you are interns but mostly pretty pretty soon you are going to face the customer side right? you are building you are going to build their network you are going to consult them that this way you can actually improve your network if that is the case that you cannot talk uh, to them without the terms because you can why we 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 we, uh, we are talking uh, together right why i am able to transfer my knowledge to you because we know we all know english right the more the mode of uh, presentation here is the english right because you know that and that is why so the, if you want to explain something to the customer in computer network if you use your lemon language or your language definitely they are not going to use so that is why you are going to use some words right and sometime while speaking the normal thing also i will be using some of the words right but you should understand the meaning encapsulation means just mean nothing right it is just the standard term so what anjali is doing anjali is taking the piece of paper and putting inside this letter envelope right and then what she write here first thing first she is going to write that this letter is for mr rahul right because maybe at the end or at the destination there could be so many people who lives with rahul because rahul has a complete full fledged family right maybe his mother father and so many uh, guys are here right and that is why anjali has written that this letter should be delivered to rahul and believe me guys these are going to be very very important concept but people do not understand it 
right they understand in the postal analogy but they do not understand in the real communication network but both are the same thing right so basically here on the envelope you're writing that this letter is exclusive for rahul nobody else should read read this right and then she is going to write that mr rahul is living in bangalore right or let's say the rahul house number is maybe uh, say 396 he lives in maybe prestige city somewhere in sarjapura and sarjapura is in bangalore right and bangalore is in karnataka right interesting you must be thinking that yes this address is having some structure right what is the structure that basically this is the state in india which is karnataka and of course after after that is it is india which is a part of the earth and you can say which is part of the solar system and so on right but yes the most important specific piece of information you can see right here right that anjali is sending a letter to rahul that is why is uh, she is writing the name rahul rahul lives in means the number is 396 nobody care about this number right maybe when the when we are the final destination then we care about this number too but if i say sa deliver this letter to rahul who lives in 396 everybody is going to laugh right what is 396 you need to elaborate more on 396 and that is why it is saying she is saying that the rahul lives in 396 house of the prestige city which is inside sarjapura which is inside bangalore which is inside karnataka it is as simple as that it means that this address is having some logical structure anybody on this uh, uh, anybody in india right can figure out that yes basically this is inside the karnataka right inside the bangalore this letter wants to go to there right and then what anjali does she is going to put this letter inside this box right very easy somebody is going to take this letters whatever inside this box to the postal office right where these letters are going to be sorted how basically these are sorted now there are some complex mechanism too maybe manually or maybe they are going to use some form of machinery for us it is the blank uh, it is a blind spot we do not understand it that how these letters are going to be sorted and you must be thinking that why do we need to sort this letter there is only going to be only one letter no this post office service is a uh, post office service is not for only one or two people there are entire there, uh, there is entire india who wants to actually use this postal service it is as simple as that right and in the flow actually i completely forget that there are there is already 48 minutes right i have been talking to 48 minutes if you guys feel that there there is need to ask something right although i haven't discuss anything which is not understandable by anything but yes as i mentioned if 2 plus 2 is not making sense to you please do ask please raise your hand please type your questions right so is there any question mr dhawal or mr punish i don't think because i am already seeing that there is no question right so i am presuming no uh, yeah, i am presuming by this time that nobody has any question because we are enjoying the session that is perfectly fine right nothing is technical but believe me whatever we are going to learn in the next 10 sessions or 9 sessions totally dependent on this analogy if you get that it is going to be great right so we are talking about the number one step miss anjali wrote this letter put this letter into in, inside this envelope write something over top of it and put this letter inside this red box once we have this letter in this red box there may be some car or the some some driver comes maybe who is part of this complete system right what is the system or what is the service the service is actually to deliver uh, a complete letter from source to destination if i say source anjali is my source why source because she has written this letter so i am 
but deliberately including some terms right these are the terms which we are going to use also in networking and those are pretty simple terms. i think you all know about the fact what source is here in this case we are having source as anjali and the destination is going to be the rahul it is as simple as that right so having said that anjali has put this letter into this box maybe some guy comes with this car or something which is part of the system who will take all the letters because the letter can come from many people not from the anjali right whoever lives closer to this box they can put the letter here right this guy is going to take those letters and maybe this guy is going to take the letters from this box as well as other box which are near to him and then he put all the those letter inside this post office whatever right there are so many people works here who are going to sort this and how these people are sorting right we do not know about it but this system this complete service has informed this guy that this is your duty right to go to these 10 post uh, post boxes whatever we have collect the letters and then put it here at a particular place inside this office right so this guy knows there is a specific procedure written for this guy right maybe on a piece of paper somebody this system is going to write that this is for anybody who is the collector right who collects the post from these post boxes right and there is a clear instruction that whatever it doesn't matter that who these guys are whether it's a b or c whether it's ram sham or anybody anybody can come anybody can see this paper where it's written that your duty is to take this car step number one take the car abc whatever step number two go to all these post boxes collect all these letters step number four right step number four is to put all these letters into a particular place i am just writing maybe these steps are more granular right because i haven't talked about you need to open this with a key and when you take out all the letters you need to uh, close it with the key right why i'm talking about all these information because this is important believe me guys whatever you are seeing this it doesn't matter that who is coming maybe this guy has been retired and somebody else is joining as this uh, as this guy who who is collecting these letters and if that is the case then you are you just need to give him that you need to work according to this letter or this uh, this written instruction and that is it right so basically this is becoming the standard right again i am including a term standard we have included only four term till now right encapsulation you all know about it right source you all know about it third destination you all know about it and the fourth sum is a standard right this is the standard document whoever reads it he can follow the step he can collect the letters and put those letters inside this office building as simple as that right now the system the post office system has another guy maybe who is collecting all this letter from here and then sorting out what approach it is going to take to sort these letters again the system has defined standard for it take a particular letter right read what is the address if it is want to go to the karnataka put it in the karnataka folder if it wants to go to anywhere else maybe rajasthan maybe delhi or put in those folder maybe i do not know about that system at all believe me guys right but you can think that there is must be somebody and if nobody is going to define this standard it is going to be very very difficult to sort these letters right and that is why we need standard because maybe this guy can leave the job and somebody else is coming if somebody else is coming that you need to give him this standard right this is standard document that how he is going to sort this right but do you think that the driver who is collecting all these letters from this post office he needs this standard no for him the standard is different for this guy the standard is different it is as simple as that if i'm talking about the standard i'm talking about the documentation of clearly written in statements right 
these statements on, on, on the basis of which these computer systems are going to work, these standards, basically these are going to be your protocols also. Because if two, two different computers understand the same standard, then they can communicate and we call them as a protocol also. If you do not get it, that is perfectly fine because I'm, I do not want to include more term. Four terms, very simple, encapsulation, source, destination, right? And this is used in the postal services also, right? As simple as that. Now, of course, after this office has sorted them out, then basically there is a medium also, and you know that there are roads, right? If the letter is nearby, then basically uh, it can be del delivered to the nearest office at the destination using using these roads, maybe bikes, uh, cars, or anything else. But if this is far away, maybe you can use the airplanes uh, uh, or the uh, air services, right? To deliver this letter to the Karnataka, maybe this company is using, or the postal service is using the air method or air services by aeroplane. Then this, uh, this, this letter is going to be delivered from here to here. It is as simple as that. But now, what is this? This is Karnataka office, guys, right? Karnataka postal office. And now this letter is here. This letter is again going to be sorted here that this is for basically Sarjapura region, right? And then there is an individual who comes whose whole sole job is to deliver letters in Sarjapura, right? Sarjapur is in Bangalore. He take all these letters which are going to deliver. Now he has our letter two, not our Anjali's letter two, right? Which is inside the envelope. This guy has some. This guy also knows that what to do when he's going to see the letter, he's going to see, okay, this is for the Sajapura. I'm in Bangalore. So for me, all these things are irrelevant. For me, basically the relevant thing is that I am delivery boy for the Sajapura. I will be seeing that where exactly this guy is living. So maybe this guy is living in the prestige city because it is written there, right? And he knows how to interpret this, right? Because this guy knows where Prestige City is. And inside that Prestige City, there is a villa number, which is maybe 396. And he is going to deliver this letter there. It is as simple as that. Interesting. This will go from here to here. Deliver this letter, which is villa number 396. And his job is done. Maybe there is a little box here. Right? where he can deliver these letters to, or maybe they can just throw away, right, at the front of your door. It is as simple as that. It's his wish. But now, is the process of delivery is complete? No, because right now, if you see that there are many people, right? Mr. Raul is a complete family, right? And if it's a complete family, there are so many people here also, right? So maybe suppose Mr. C has picked this letter. On what basis he is going to decide that this letter is going to deliver to Rahul? Because it there is specifically Anjali has specifically mentioned that this Ra, this message is for Rahul. As simple as that, right? So Mr. C is going to say that Rahul, you have a letter, and then basically the message delivery is done. It is as simple as that. But I would say that if we want to increase it to another level, then Rahul should know that who has sent this letter, right? Although when he see the letter, uh, he's pretty obvious that it was sent by Anjali. Maybe Anjali is writing here. But it is very, very good that if Anjali put its own address too in this envelope, right? So if this letter is not delivered to Mr. Rahul, it can go back to Anjali. So that Anjali can at least know that this letter is not delivered, right? So what Anjali can do here is she can write her own address, which we can say the source address also on this letter. And you all notice that, that if you receive a letter, there is always a name of the sender on the envelope, right? Although inside the envelope too, you can read the content and come to know that who the source is. But still, if that is not the case, then basically this letter contains the source address. And that is why. Rahul immediately seeing the envelope can understand that this letter is from the Anjali. It is as simple as that. Right? Interesting. 
So this is the whole soul thing which I would like to explain you and you must be thinking that this guy is making us this postman, right? That, believe me, the intent is not that. The intent is to understand the system so that we can understand the system of computer networking also, which is exactly, I'm not saying, the analogy is all uh, not going to be perfect, guys, right? But it can make your mind clear that, yes, if the message, the physical message can be delivered, then we can think about the virtual message also because you cannot see 1010, right? Going into the air or into the wire. Then, of course, nobody is going to take this 1010 and deliver it from here to here, right? But definitely, the system is very, very efficient here, right? But I would say there are some inefficiencies too. What those inefficiencies are, we are going to talk about them. It's already one hour, right? Let's take a break of 15 minutes and we will come, uh, come again. Right now the time is 10.41. We will come back at 10.55 to begin our session. Having said that, bye for next 15 minutes. Here you go. I have resumed the recording. So as we can see now that uh, we could easily able to understand that this analogy of delivering uh, your mails or the physical mails, whatever we have, right, through the post office, uh, post office service. And we have also seen that there are some uh, standards which is defined by this postal office service because, for example, this this uh, postman was sure enough how to interpret a particular address, right? And he also knows that this address, whatever is written on the envelope, has a logical structure in it. Anybody can understand where Rahul lives if he or she can see this address. It is straightforward. So if I if I say what are the most important things here, right? If I write in this color here, then you must be thinking that yes, the address is one of the most important thing, right? The second thing is definitely there must be somebody who is writing this letter, which is Anjali. So Anjali should be there, right? Because she is writing the letter, because she is generating the content. So Anjali is the important piece of this information uh, is complete system right then if i if i say this guy who is collecting this information from uh, anjali's post office box and delivering it to the uh, uh, post office this guy is really really important right guy or girl uh, you you never know right so this guy is really really important the fourth thing is uh, and also the document which is uh, guiding this guy uh, how to behave, right? How to how to take from where to take out these letters and where to put, right? The number four is the complete system who is sorting out, right? The sorting is done on uh, this uh, uh, post office, right? And you all know that there is again a document which is again very, very important. And these documents, we are calling them the standards, the standard document. And at last, we will be seeing that the number fifth thing is this postman who was efficiently, uh, uh, who are pretty, who, who is pretty efficient to understand these letters and then deliver them, them to the final destination, which is uh, towards the Rahul. It is as simple as that. And the sixth uh, step we have seen that uh, this letter could be reached to anybody who is living in this uh, villa number 396. And that is why Anjali uh, intelligently put uh, Rahul name that this is specifically for Rahul. And whoever is uh, read, trying to read this letter, he will straight away see the letter uh, or, or the envelope and can say, Rahul, this letter is for you. So this is the whole soul takeaway from this. And we will be developing our whole soul networking communication or the networks along this, right? Having said that, do you think that there is any inefficiency in this system right we will be talking about it do you think that can we divide this complete thing into uh, particular layers or the modules what is the meaning of it right if i say that this is a huge system which has so many steps which i have written here right 
uh, so many uh, actors who are uh, behind the scene to deliver this right and then so many systems or the uh, standards also right so if i say that postal service is actually is a big puzzle it is going to be really really important to break this puzzle into multiple pieces or multiple modules to understand it right because if you want to develop if you want to understand this layer sorry the complete postal service it is very very uh, important to divide this into multiple pieces understand those pieces and then you can understand that how the complete postal service works although we have uh, we had a pretty pretty detailed discussion about it but we all know about some of the things that's why we could easily uh, relate to it and we could have easily understood it but believe me when we talk about the computer system computer network there are many things which you haven't heard about right so that is perfectly fine the analogy is going to be uh, the 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 way of learning is going to be same we will be dividing this complete problem into multiple pieces and then understanding those uh, individual pieces and then combining them together so having said that let's see how we are going to divide this postal service puzzles into multiple modules or into multiple pieces right so if you see this board here we have this postal service in a big circle this is my complex problem let me write with this this was my complete problem which is the postal service and now i want to understand this right if i want to understand this postal service what i'm doing is i am breaking this postal service using this hammer and now it is giving me two different module maybe you can if if you want to divide this complete postal office service into multiple modules right then you can but what i can think from here is that if i divide this into two pieces it is going to make more sense right the piece number two or the piece number one of this information if i talk about this piece first it is that write and post the letter into the box what is the meaning the meaning is there must be somebody means anjali right who is writing this letter and of course before writing the letter she is putting the name address and then you can say that mr vishnu if you can divide this problem into three pieces it is going to be good right that is okay it doesn't matter how many modules you are going to divide this complete post postal service problem but i want to tell you a methodology through which you can understand a big solution quite easily by breaking it into multiple modules and i am taking an example that you have learned in your uh, maybe fourth semester fifth semester i do not know which semester but there must be a subject with the name of the network computer networking and you must have heard about the osi layers and the tcp ip layer if not that is perfectly fine but the whole sole point is that inside these uh, models what do you see you see multiple layers and believe me these multiple layers are nothing but these are the modules of a particular big problem tcp ip or osi what these guys are trying to solve these guys are trying to solve how two computers communicate with each other right postal service what the service trying to solve how two human beings can send messages to each other over a distance right but the end if you want to understand the postal service what you are or if you want to make a service like postal service then you need to divide this complex problem into multiple pieces which is which is known as modules right because postal service is kind of a big puzzle and if you divide it into multiple modules then understanding those modules or creating those modules are going to be easy as compared to building the complete solution right here we are concentrating more on understanding the problem rather than creating the solution for it but you all understand that you have read about tcp slash ip model or osi model these two are actually the complete solutions which are trying to solve a particular problem that how two computers can talk efficiently over a particular network and that is why you were seeing so many layers there right 
a particular layer is actually a particular piece of the puzzle and you understand the particular pieces and if you combine all these layers then basically a complete solution is made which is tcp ip i do not want to talk about again tcp ip osi today right we are going to discuss about it but there is somewhat correlation between what we are learning now and what you have already learned in your six or seven semester i'm not sure about it right so having said that the whole sole point of this problem this board is if there is a big puzzle if there is a big problem and if you divide that big problem into multiple pieces understand those multiple pieces individually combine them then you can create that solution or you can understand that solution easily too having said that i have divided the complete postal office problem into two different pieces the piece number one is there must be somebody who is writing the post and then posting this post into the post office not post office into the post box of the red color which we have seen right so what is going to be there inside it of course somebody is writing the letter right somebody is writing the addresses on the letter somebody somebody is doing the encapsulation and that somebody is actually the anjali right encapsulation means whatever the letter it is going to be going inside the envelope and then basically writing the address and then put this letter into the post box it is as simple as that right then the piece one of the problem right why i have written this piece two as piece one this can be debatable guys right because i wanted to showcase you that there are many layers layer two layer three layer four in com computer network communication this number is quite uh means debatable that whether this uh, this should be one or two you can you can write any number but i have chosen because at the end of the day we are going to learn the tcp ip model and that is why i'm choosing from top to bottom layer seven to layer one it is as simple as that right so if you talk about here that we have module number two which is which which talks about what all anjali does to send this letter from uh, uh, to write this letter to post this letter and the module two basically which is going to talk about a system that take the letter out of this post box post of post box and then deliver it on the basis of destination address right and this system as you all know is going to con uh, contain that boy or that person who is taking the letter out of that red color post box right and then there is another person or the machine who is sorting the letter into uh, the post office and there is another third person who is actually delivering the, uh, those letters right so this system is again quite uh, uh, quite uh, ha has some so many jobs here and maybe you can break this system uh, or, or or the complete module one to come up across another pieces so that you can learn those pieces together for example if you want to learn the services offered by this guy you can say that basically there is a standard documentation which is for this guy who will see that the letters are coming letter i need to take letters from these 10 post post uh, boxes and then basically i need to take take it towards the post office service right so having said that i am again repeating the whole soul intent of this board is that if you want to understand a big complex problem and this holds true for if you want to create a solution for a big complex problem just divide it into multiple pieces and just work out those multiple pieces combine them and you will be amazed to see that your, uh, your complete solution is right there having said that let's move to these two different modules and <clears throat> if i divide this complete thing complete puzzle postal service puzzle into two modules then what these modules are going to do i have specifically written uh, uh, write those thing here that the module two is going to contain write the letter put the letter into the envelope and write the address over it right and put the letter into this box right then module two is talking about this complete system right who understand the address written by the anjali right because anjali is also the part of the system why because anjali is writing the letter in accordance with what the system understand 
it is as simple as that and there there is a logic behind that address right so what is going to happen here module once you take the letter from the post box deliver it to the uh, office for the sorting send the letter uh, using the help of this postman right basically this is going to send the to the nearest location maybe the karnataka and the bangalore and this guy is taking those letters from there and delivering this to so i have divided this complete problem into two portion right maybe you will be feeling that uh, we have been talking about this postal service for so long again i am not going to introduce any technical or most of the technical terms today uh, because this is the zeroth session of the complete course i just want here to make sure that you understand that computer networking is not that difficult and believe me if you understand whatever we have explained till now computer uh, computer networking is going to be piece of cake for you having said that this is the complete problem which we have divided into two parts but try to think do we have any inefficiency into the system and if yes what are those inefficiencies for example why we are talking about inefficiency right there are two terms one is efficient right and the other one is inefficient what is the meaning the meaning is <clears throat> if this complete system is doing its job right means on time delivery and basically it is uh, it is uh, using the less number of people to deliver the manual uh, intervention is uh, definitely uh, really less means if you have make this system right then we can say that this system is quite efficient right but if this system is not able to deliver the letters on time right then we can say that basically this system is not that efficient right or this system is inefficient if this system is inefficient then what to do to improve the efficiency of this system right for example if i give you an uh, if you if i uh, if i talk about that suppose we have anjali in, in, into a particular room where maybe more than 20 people are sitting right and there are so many people and anjali wants to deliver a message to or want to inform something to rahul there is one way right she can shout that mr rahul how are you right do you think this is an efficient method no absolutely not why because anjali is disturbing others too while delivering her message to rahul it is as simple as that right so whatever the approach chosen by anjali is actually not that efficient but yes she can make it efficient by just going towards mr rahul and delivering this message to only rahul it is as simple as that right so now i am just asking and you must think about it that what are the efficient inefficiencies of this postal uh, service right because you do not want to see those inefficiency into the computer networks because if you are sending a particular message it is the responsibility of the system to deliver that message to another end here that system is postal service and in computers that system is going to be the network which you are going to create right that network should be capable enough enough to take the message and deliver it to the destination it is as simple as that so let's talk about the inefficiency of the system and here you go here you go right so here if you can see that anjali is has again wrote a letter right here again the same thing this letter is for mr rahul it is going to 396 villa number prestige city sarjapura bangalore karnataka she is delivering this letter here letter is has gone for the sorting purpose to the post office it is delivered to the nearest location which is karnataka post office or the bangalore post office whatever it is 
the letter is taken by this guy postman and he has delivered this to bangalore villa number 396 prestige county or whatever but here is the thing what if mr rahul and his family does not live here anymore maybe they have moved to maybe they are in bangalore but they have moved to another house interesting if that is the case two things can happen right if anjali has written the uh, written the source address right along with it then what is going to happen or if anjali forgot to write her address on this envelope what is going to happen right this postman is going to reach here in this house he will say that mr rahul is there and the person who are living here or maybe maybe there is a lock here right so now this guy has two option maybe to drop this letter here or if there is a source address written on this address right means anjali's address this guy is going to say to the post office service that nobody with the name of rahul lives here and that then the letter can be going here right if that is the case then basically this is perfectly fine right but if there is no source address written here then maybe maybe all these letters are right here on the door of this guy because this postman doesn't have any way to figure out what to do with these packets maybe there is a process written on this standard document if that is the case you can tear down those letters but if there is a source address just deliver it back so that anjali knows that there is nobody right interesting but don't you think that that here is the problem that this guy has to means the letter has to go from delhi to bangalore via all this process to come to know that rahul does not live here wouldn't it be great that if somebody means before sending the letter somebody uh, through any way i am not sure what way anjali comes to know that whether rahul lives there or not interesting right but if that is the case then basically there should be a communication before sending this message right before sending this initial message there should be communication between anjali and rahul and if there was a communication if there could be a communication then why anjali is going to send this letter at the first place so this is not possible but the system is inefficient right but you must be thinking that mr vishnu if we had this pink line then we do not need this complete system at all because over this pink line we can talk whatever we want right so this is not that inefficient to i am just talking about that whether because now we are going to build this complete system from the viewpoint of the computers right instead of these houses these villas right what we are going to have we are going to have the computers maybe laptop number a laptop number b right here right and we want to make sure that these two guys talk can we build something in advance so that mr a can check that whether b is there or not before sending any message it is going to be great if we can do that because if this b is not there then there is no point of sending this message at the first place right interesting i would say that this is not the problem with the with the postal service right the system is not efficient but yes i can see that the packet has to travel or this message has to travel all the way to bangalore to know that mr rahul is not there i can say that there is some issues right with respect to this interesting and we will take care of this inefficiency although it is not the inefficiency but this is how the system could have worked at that point of time because if there is an inefficiency these guys would have solved it right but i can see that can we resolve such kind of things when we do when we send messages between computers it is as simple as that guys right interesting so having said that 
let's move to the next board to see what we have right so here in cisco everybody everyone says that whenever you start learning or whenever you start building a network for customer right you should see the security aspect also what is the meaning of security aspect right everybody says the security should be inbuilt into the network right we are talking about the postal service now can we include the security and if yes what is the meaning of the security first thing first right till now whatever anjali writes on this envelope whatever she writes right although this letter is part of this envelope whatever miss anjali is writing here she is putting this complete letter into this envelope writing the name of mr rahul and its address to and then send it inside this but do you think the postal office service is secure enough i would say no and the reason is anybody anybody in the complete system whatever the system is right which we are calling the module 2 right anybody in this complete system whether this guy is the guy who is taking out the letters from this red box delivering it to this he can open the envelope maybe there is a seal too but this guy is so perfectionist that he can take out the letter he can open the letter read the letter and then basically he can seal that letter again right he could have done that anybody in this part of the system who is sorting out the letters can do that this postman can do that do you lit do you feel that this information is secure enough no absolutely not right but we this is the mode how we communicated earlier right do you want that the same communication should happen between two computers absolutely not absolutely not right because there must be security when this computer a talks to computer b and that is where the complete branch of networking is there which deals with this aspect that if a computer sends a message towards the destination it is the responsibility of network security so that nobody can see that message and if we can see the message nobody can get the meaningful information out of it very very interesting right can we achieve the same thing in postal service right we all know for the fact that anybody whoever this guy let's say this guy name is a who is taking out not the a suppose this guy name is x right who is taking out the messages from this red box and putting them here or maybe there is a person whose name is y who is right here into the post office of this postman right anybody could have read uh, 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 these messages right but at least can i do something in the system so that maybe these guys can take the message out take this thing out but nothing is meaningful to them right only and only rahul can get a particular meaning out of it right it means that i'm talking about anjali is writing this letter in a way which is not readable to this guy this guy and this guy right but anjali and rahul can only understand this message maybe maybe anjali is having one piece of paper and he has written something over it but nobody can see what is written over it right because she is she is writing on this letter with with the ink which is invisible right and there are so many solutions so many chemical solution which could be so that if you can write here on this paper right if you can write this uh, write on this paper nobody can see that anything is written but yes if you give some temperature or if you heat this letter then basically 
you can see the content of this letter. Maybe the Anjali can can send the packet this way or send the message this way or send this letter this way, right? And we have been using these techniques over the period of time, right? And I've give, I, I give you an example. That's in, in the past time, uh, suppose we have two kings, right? And they live miles apart, king number one, king number two, right? And if what if this guy sends to uh, wants to send this information, we are not talking the post postal office guys, right? Because we are talking thousands of years back. And if that is the case, then how these two kings were talking, right? No medium, nothing was there in terms of computer networks of this postal service. So what they do, they used to give the message to this guy, right? Who can uh, who can who can walk miles? over the horses and deliver this message to but this message is not safe right because this guy at least can could have opened it and got the message right so there were so many techniques at that point of time and this was one of the one technique that people understand that there is nothing written on this message but yes there was and only this guy know that how to decrypt that message how to read that message right even in china what people used to do is they used to write the message on a piece of a cloth which can be make very small balls and this guy who is taking the message can engulf these balls right and then at the destination he just spit out them it is as simple as that so to others who is interested in this message they see that nothing is going along with this guy but at that point also even this guy who's who's engulfing those messages can read that information right so why we are talking about all this thing because we want to include security also nobody else can make some meaningful information out of my message and if that is the case then what i should do and that is why we know that we need to write something so that that is meaningful meaningful for the anjali that is meaningful the uh, meaningful for the rahul but nobody else can understand that right and that is why i have written this right so the first row here is simple x y z a b c d e the second row is what i have written instead of a i have written z means minus one position means on the left hand side instead of writing a i will be writing z b i will be writing a c i will be writing b d i will be writing c and so on right similarly if i say that i want to go two places left then basically instead of writing a i would be writing y it is as simple as that right so anjali is very very keen so that this message can be delivered securely to rahul and what she is doing that suppose she wants to send a message A, B, C to Rahul. This is, guys, very, very, now, very, very important thing. Please try to understand this, right? Instead of sending A, B, C, Anjali is choosing that she wants to use this minus one approach. What is the meaning of minus one? She wants to write exactly a letter which is just before A. So instead of sending A, B, C, because this is the message which Anjali wants to send, but she is going to send, instead of writing A, she will be writing Z, minus one position on the left from here to here. Instead of writing B, she is writing A, and instead of writing C, she is going to write B. It is as simple as that, and she is going to send Z, A, B. I am just giving you the example, very straightforward example, right but just try to understand that instead of minus one if she have cho if she she had chosen minus 22 you would have thought right nobody is going to understand this message unless they know that what anjali is using right whether it's minus one minus two or minus 22 or if somebody is very uh, if very very keen to learn this then he can choose minus one minus two he can he can put all the combination but the whole sole point is now if this guy is not capable of decoding these message he doesn't know what anjali is trying to do that the message is going to be z a b this guy even can open this envelope but he would be uh, getting that right 
he would be getting that nothing right because he doesn't understand what is the meaning of z a b it is as simple as that right it means that definitely we can include something in this complete analogy so that these messages are absolutely secure right we are including another module right what was module 2 is doing anjali is writing the paper, uh, writing the letter delivering it to it what was module 1 is doing it is taking the everything right it is taking everything right to the destination what this another module maybe module number 3 is going to do it is going to encrypt the message right i am using another word another important term which is encryption right so previously if the message was going simply a b c what is the meaning the meaning is it is going in the plain it is going as a plain text right but if i put some algorithm minus 1 on it it is sending the message as z a b now this is not easily readable by most of the public although you can argue with me that mr vishnu it is very very easy to decode yes i agree with you but the whole soul idea is that you can write a particular message in a form that is understandable only to rahul and you zeb and you can argue with me that how rahul is going to understand maybe when anjali and rahul meet they have shared a number that mr rahul it is going to be minus 5 if it is minus 5 only rahul and anjali understand that that whatever anjali is going to write i need to go left five places left and replace that uh, value with another value whatever whatever is that here right so the new message which is the highly encrypting form it is going to be your encrypted message this was is your plain text message so it is simple that yes we can include security in, into the system too right and as you all know for the fact that once we see everything going on whatever uh, uh, whatever the concept we have read here right if we see that everything is going exactly or almost same way in the into the computer networks also you will be amazed to see that this the entire portion whatever we have discussed till now it is going to be part of your network security right another very interesting topic if you want to learn along with me definitely some point we will be learning network security from scratch also how to do that i will definitely let you know having said that so what we have done here is till now what we have done here is so do not get overwhelmed because this is very very simple things right so what we have learned till now is we know that there is a postal service right which talks about how to deliver two letters we have seen some of the inefficiencies of this approach right Uh, that if if the destination is not there, then basically we in in this system we cannot check that whether the destination is there or not before sending the message. And we also know that that there can be improvement in this, right? Because if we can inform Anjali that she can send the message securely, then how and what Anjali needs to do, we have learned this uh, till this much, right? Till this point, right? and we also know that if we and this is one of the most important thing in in the learning if you want to create a solution or if you want to learn a solution just have that solution divide it into multiple pieces read the individual pieces and combine them right this should be the whole soul learning till this point having said that if you have any question any doubt please raise your hand if not because i do not see any hand raise i would be and and guys if there is no question from you guys then probably there are some question answer session maybe from the next classes right so it is going to be good 
that if you ask question otherwise if something uh, is in your mind and if you are not asking then you need to answer that in the form of some question question answer sessions right mm -hmm. so anybody any doubt any question anyone mm -hmm. i think someone is trying to speak but uh, you can unmute yourself and talk okay no problems that's fine so now here we are going to talk about on the next board and now we are moving pretty close to what we uh, we are going to talk about in the complete uh, sessions and now from now on whatever the postal office service we have seen right this should be there for sure right this should be absolutely the learnings whatever we have should be there with you all the times because we will be utilizing that analogy to create right the computer networks and here we are going to talk about why sending messages between computers are different than postal service right as i mentioned analogies are not always perfect right most of the analogies are not but yes they give you the starting point to understand something else and believe me if you understand that post office analogy then overall network computer or the computer networks right i think you have understood approximately 60 to 75 percent right and this is a big number i'm talking about then you must be thinking if that is the case do do you want to say that we have already covered 75 percent of the uh, syllabus and i would say yes overall understanding the big picture of the solution is with you right now we need to just fit whatever the, our learnings are and we need to understand the difference also because previously we are talking about sending the physical letters between two human beings and now we are talking about two computers which are not sending the physical letters they are sending the bits it is as simple as that right so in this board in this board we are going to talk about how communication between two computers is different than postal service right let's talk about it so we have here two laptops laptop number a maybe is in uh, maybe is in india or laptop number b it doesn't matter maybe it's also in india in the same location in the same room too right but if you want to send messages between them it doesn't uh, it should not be dependent on the location right because if, you, if I give you an example, right, you with your friend are sitting in the same room, say, right, and still you can send the messages over your WhatsApp application, right, it doesn't matter whether you are close in the same room or maybe you are in different city, different country, it doesn't matter, right, and that is why it doesn't matter whether the remote laptop is in India or basically uh, it's miles away from you maybe it's in us it doesn't matter at all because once you develop a complete system like postal service right to deliver the computers messages right then it doesn't matter if these computers are on a single room or miles apart so first thing first how these two computers are going to talk is to is different than the postal service because there you are delivering the letters right you are delivering the letters there but here as you all know that if we send a letter to this computer this computer is not going to make anything out of it we need to explain that what we are sending in whatever computer we understands right and interestingly these two computers we all know for the fact that these two computers understand only the bits right the single unit is the bit which can take only two position right or which can take only two values a bit can be zero a bit can be one 
if we represent this with the light or the voltage, then if the light is glowing, then it is 1. If this is off, this is 0. It is as simple as that. So there are so many ways to indicate that what is 0, what is 1 to other guy. But this is for the fact that whatever, for example, if I want to say, if I want to say, hi, how are you, right? And if I want to send this message to laptop number B, this message, whatever I am sending, right, this is not going to be in this way. It is going to be in this way, right? The message should be containing 101010, whatever, right? And if this computer in the same room connected over this wire, then basically this wire is going to send this 1010. One zero, maybe whatever, right? So the number one difference with the postal service and the computer network is you are not sending the physical letters, you are sending the bits. It's as simple as that. The second thing is there the medium. If we talk about what was the medium of delivering the uh, delivering the uh, letters, right? That letter was going into the post office, right? And before post office, that were going into the post uh, box. Then somebody, then basically from here to here, from the post box to this guy or, or the Anjali, right? There must be a road. So this road was the medium. And then basically somebody was taking from this post box to, to the post office. And again, it is going on the road with the help of the vehicle, maybe. And then maybe the medium is going to be the plane because this was going from the Bangalore or Delhi to Bangalore. Maybe the aeroplane service uh, this guy were using. And then, so you can see the medium is different here. The roads, the car, the aeroplane, the air medium, right? You all know about that, right? Here, the packets are not going to be flowing over the roads or into the aeroplane, right? It is not the fact that you are going to send these 1010 into the aeroplane. No, absolutely not. There must be something else. And this is what the difference. So we are not sending letters. We are sending the bits in the case of computer. And the second thing is the medium. What should be the medium? Maybe the medium is the wire or the wireless. We can send this bits information in, in the wireless form also. You will all see that pretty soon. Right. Number three, who will create these messages? Right. In the postal office case or the postal service uh, case, Miss Anjali was there to create the messages. But who is going to create the messages here? And you all know about it, right? Maybe you have installed the WhatsApp application here. That is your app, which is WhatsApp. And maybe I'm not sure which application you guys use, but I think. WhatsApp is known to everybody and you have installed this application on, the, on, on this laptop and you have tried, you have written a message which is, hi, how are you? If that is the case, that who is generating this message? Of course, you can say that I have generated the message, but you have just typed your message into this application. This application is the one who is generating the message, right? So application is going to generate the message instead of this guy right although you can argue with me that at the end of the day i was the only one who has generated the message i agree with you right nobody say that the pen has written the message right i agree with you but yes there must be somebody in this computer who is actually taking the input from you and creating that message and that that thing is actually application there is a need to be the application there inside this laptop it is as simple as that, right? And the fourth thing, what should be the address? What should be the address of this guy, laptop B? Can I say that this computer lives in Karnataka inside, uh, what we can say, inside Bangalore? inside Bangalore, uh, Sarjapur, and then basically it's sitting in the villa number 396 of Prestige City, right? 
interesting but if i write this and who who is going to understand this in that case basically we have a special entity right we have a special entity which is the postman who was well aware of this address structure but suppose these two computers are not connected maybe they are connected with some intelligent device in the middle now they are far away right then these guys who is taking this message whatever in the form of 1010 right these guys should understand where exactly this guy wants to go right shall i write karnataka bangalore palana whatever jo bhi hai it's as simple as that interesting right but this is for sure that we are going to need an address because there are so many computers in this world and we are going to send this message to only laptop b, b which is rahul's laptop this is miss anjali's laptop now anjali is not sending letter to rahul anjali is sending 1010 via his mobile phone or via his laptop it is as simple as that and if that is the case then this mode of communication is totally not totally slightly because the concept which we are going to take is from there right we were sending letters there there we are sending bits here there the medium is so many like the roads and the aeroplane here the the medium is going to be very very interesting maybe the wire right who will create that message basically there anjali is actually writing the message right with the pen and she is encapsulating it in the lighter and delivering it but who is going to do this right here in the computer anjali is writing the letter but she is not going anywhere she is getting that message how hey, how are you but he just typed the message then who is actually delivering the message who is clearing the message application and at the last point the address should be there because there are so many computers in this world who are going to have different addresses it is as simple as that right and that address should have a meaning too so that these guys can understand right and now let's introduce a term i'm not sure how many of you have heard about this but there is a term called ip address right which looks like this 100.20.30. maybe 40 right what is these numbers right and we all know that these are the addresses which we are going to use on internet interesting and believe me this is just like the address which we used to have in the postal office service it means that this address are going to have some specific meaning right what exactly that meaning is we need to understand that if you want to understand how our message is going to be delivered but as i mentioned we are not going to involve so many terms here ip addressing we are going to read about it but yes if we are talking about the need of an address i would like to show you that if you have heard about the term ip address this is exactly the address of my computer and i will be sending my message towards this address and maybe this address is of laptop number b and whatever the different guys in middle who will, will be forwarding my a uh, packet maybe that the postman or something if they can understand that address the analogy here is that the system here who is going to deliver so previously the system were post office and now the system is going to be your computer networks the system should understand whatever the address i am going to write and here as i mentioned that in case of two computers when they talk to each other the address are going to be ip address and this system your computer network is going to understand the ip address there is a logical reasoning there is a logical structure behind this ip address which we are going to talk about do not worry about it but by this board i hope you understand what is the difference between a postal office service and if you want to send a message between two computers there is a different in terms of sending bits medium 
who is going to write application and the addressing scheme it is as simple as that and interesting i do not see any question till yet and it is uh, i'm not sure but there are only two reasons uh, there are only two outcomes of it right the number one outcome is if you are getting everything right whatever i said the every single word single statement sentence whatever i am saying the meaning is if you are getting that which is really really hard to believe that almost 90 people are getting it but maybe some of you are saying and that's why uh, that's why you are not asking question but believe me please do ask your question although the session was i can understand that it could be it could have uh, been this way also that you all get it right because we are not talking much about the technology we are just talking about the postal service and you all know about it right but in this board if you want to put some more information right that mr vishnu i think that along i i can understand that these these are the four differences but if you feel that there is some more differences by any chance if you know about it please do share and the sharing mechanism is going to be very very simple just raise your hands right just raise your hand and do ask your question if you do not have question please be part of this session right and please let me know if you see any difference right if you see any difference uh, between the postal of uh, postal uh, service and how to computer stock if you see any difference please raise your hand and whoever is asking the first question uh, then basically there is some surprise gift from myself anybody okay pretty interesting dhawal can we see any question on the uh, question and answer box no wish no perfect okay strange really strange okay punish and rohit and dhawal if you have any input to give on this board that how computer service is different than uh, basically this postal office service or computer network are different you can be part of that anybody or basically i am uh, to the point and there is no difference right okay this is good i think then i am uh, right uh, basically whatever the uh, difference i have included here is the only uh, thing which is the difference between the postal service and the computer network but believe me there are so many differences right having said that let's move to our next board but i would say before going on to the next board it is already uh, one hour right so we will be going on the next board after taking a break of maybe uh, 15 this time 20 minutes break let's say right so right now it's 11:53 we will be coming back at 12:10 uh, right and probably this uh, session because uh, okay so i can uh, this is very very good sanya uh, thank you so much for your question so sanya is saying that uh, you said only ip address receives messages it can be mac address too right and uh, believe me sanya whatever you have asked is actually uh, the question who is a, which is a problem for many senior folks also right and actually you have asked a, one brilliant question that uh, and i think that most of us is not able to understand it if we do not know computer networking because i just introduced the concept of ip address and you are asking that there is another address which is called as the mac address right so uh, as i mentioned that the that the receiver is going to receive this whatever the message which we are going to send over this ip address but what sanya is asking that there is term called mac address 2 and this message can be received by the mac address you are absolutely right but we are in no position absolutely no position towards answering this right now because we need to understand the mac address also for it and and the question is that 
in case of humans right in case of anjali and rahul rahul is going to have only one address at a particular time right and the address was whatever the 396 or something 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 correct and i am happy to see that there are so many questions and that is absolutely great i can read directly and thank you so much guys for this so to answer sanya's question right sanya we are in no position to answer that right now right and the reason is we haven't talked about mac addresses but yes the question is that if i have introduced ip address and mac address the both things here why do we need two addresses for identifying a single entity and believe me this is not your problem as a fresher i could see many people in the computer industry which cannot answer this why ip address if we have mac address or why mac address if we have ip address interesting right but thanks for the question. We will be definitely talking about it maybe uh, maybe after some time, maybe after two or three sessions. This is the thing which I would definitely would walk, walk you through. Having said that, there is a question from Shubha Sharma. How do bits travel between computers? This is again very, very interesting thing, right? So as I mentioned, uh, that if we have two computer, Shubha, maybe this is a this is b there must be some medium between them who is going to take this right and suppose i connect them in a pretty simple example let's i connect them with a wire this green color wire which you are going to see pretty soon right but this wire is a copper wire and copper wire can take the current over it it cannot take the bits i i totally understand that so that is why we need to encode these bits 101010 in the form of current so maybe that if the current flows or, or the voltage flows over this wire which is 5 volt then i would say that is 1 and that is a 0 volt then i would say it is 0 so i totally agree with you shubha that how copper wire is going to take this uh, bits copper wire but copper wire can take the current right and I can say that if the current is this value, then the meaning is one. And I can inform something. So these two guys is connected over this wire, right? From here to here. This is my wire. And to connect it to computer, where I should need it to connect so that basically this computer understand. So there is a device, right? There is a device which is available on this computer, which we call as network interface card. You need to connect it. And this is the responsibility of this network interface card to check that the messages are coming in the form of current. And then the output is going to be 10101, which is understood by this computer. It is as simple as that. So there must be something. And the question is really phenomenal. And thank you so much, Shubha, for asking this question. Right? And then there is a question from Mr. Rohit. Rohit is the moderator also and one of the best guy we have here because he he has done so many cool things in Cisco. I'll let you know what are those. But Rohit is asking question, bit travel in the form of like, no, 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 Rohit is answering the, the question. Response. I am apps, yeah, sorry for that, sir. sorry for that, right? So he's saying and he has answered that electrical, optical, RF signal depending upon the media. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much, Rohit, for this, right? But I, I, I think that Shubha, you got the answer, right? Now, uh, there is a question from Mukammala Vinod. I would, I would say Vinod, right? And he's saying, how many layers does TCP IP model has? Is it four or five? This is again a very interesting question. And believe me, the developers of TCP IP never said that, that your, that our model is going to be having only four layers or five layers and these are the modules guys which we are talking about right we have divided this postal service into various modules right module number one for writing the letter module number two for delivering the letter module, module number three might be if you want to include the security right so tcp ip developers doesn't say how many modules should be there or layers should be there but yes we can create those on the basis of what we have so previously it is used to be believed that there are four layers 
but now i would say that it is more easy to explain tcp ip with five layers than four layers then i would say the five layer model is making more sense right and do not worry about such questions that which protocol works at which uh, 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 port protocol how many of these these are really really simple things but yes again the question is good because this is the problem for many of us so believe me whoever has developed this tcp ip doesn't say rfc or anything else doesn't say that this model is strictly based on the four models you cannot have more than that no if you want to explain them and if the model can be explained with the five layers i would say the five okay so i see that we have covered almost every question and i would request again to ask many as many question but i yes i understand in today's class we haven't covered much we are just talking about general things and as i mentioned this is the zero session this is the zero session of the complete ccna class which is going to be very very important for you because if you understand the general thing then basically you understand the problem and you understand the problem then probably you can you can find the solution and believe me i can see in this industry till now right that if we are working on a problem then there are less people who actually understand the problem well because if you understand the problem well then you can talk about solution of that problem right so if there are questions when somebody is explaining the problem if you have questions please do ask because to understand a problem you may need something who is explaining the problem right it is as simple as that and that is why i have just here explaining the problem that two computers want to communicate right what do we need we need address we need medium we need application and so on right and then we can definitely go into the nitty gritties of medium for example uh, misania has just asked what should be the medium right sorry uh, she asked what is ip address or mac address right and somebody is asking how is uh, how it is traveling uh, over this medium it is as simple as that now you are thinking in the right direction if if computers need medium what it should be if computer need addressing what it should be right if you are talking about tcp ip model then this is a, a tcp ip is solving the same problem this is the model built for communicating to people and that is why we should be dividing it and that is why the tcp ip layers approach comes right it is as simple as that okay so we just talked about uh, <clears throat> how messaging between two computers is going to be different than uh, our postal office service and we are pretty sure about it there is no doubt about it that there are going to be some differences now, as no analogy is going to be absolutely perfect and that is why it is an analogy so let's move to the next board and what we have in the next board so now what we are going to he do here as i mentioned that it is always advisable it is always wise to break a problem into multiple pieces and I, now i can see here that it's a big problem right the problem is how to send messages between two computers and this was a uh, problem uh, which was faced by people when there were computers computers were invented and they want them to interact with each other right and that is where they have divided this problem into multiple pieces and i am not exactly saying that this is these are this should be the module but whatever our learning till now what i am doing is based on our discussion whatever we have seen in last 2 or 2 uh, or 10 minutes we just saw that there is there are few requirements which needs to be addressed if we want to make sure that these two computers computer number a and computer number b talks talk right over the wire or maybe i don't know about the medium till yet right so first thing first 
we all know for the fact that there must be somebody who is writing the messages and also writing the addresses on those messages right for example this is my computer number a this is my computer number b i do not know what that address is going to be but yes from my past knowledge i can say it is going to be the ip address but i do not know about the ip address but i know for the fact that if this computer wants to send a message to computer b this computers need to write first thing first this message and then this computer also put ip address or maybe it can have one envelope he is going to write the ip address on top of it and the message should be inside this maybe we are doing encapsulation here right the application which is your whatsapp it is going to generate this kind of a message in the form of 101010 whatever it is and there is somebody who is going to writing the ip address after putting the this message into this box maybe this uh, this somebody is the application itself but we all know for the fact that if a wants to communicate to b b a should know the address of b which it is going to be uh, writing here exactly and one more thing a should know right because here on this computer one application whatsapp can be run another application chrome can can be run or any other application there are maybe 20 applications could be running on the system number b so this application is intelligent enough to put some information here that this envelope is only for whatsapp application this is not for chrome this is not for any other application which might be running on system b so this system b can run many applications right and do not get confused about this word application application is whatever you understand is the same thing whatsapp is your application right facebook is the application chrome you use or the browsers you use right maybe it's safari or the chrome you use them to access the internet this is again your application which is running on this computer so if you want to send a whatsapp message try to open in the uh, into the browser on any other application you are not going to open it right it should be for application one so over this message somebody is going to write exclusively that this is for whatsapp right and whoever is doing all these things i have mentioned that this is the piece of uh, information which is which is the responsibility of module 3 if you want to understand this module 3 basically we need to understand this and do not get confused with module 3 with the layer 3 because these are totally different what we are talking in this session in the zeroth session we are not talking about any layering i am just telling you that if i want to solve this problem or if i want to learn this problem then i am going to learn this in different modules so that once i understand a particular module or all the modules i will be combining them to make a full-fledged solution or full-fledged learning it is as simple as that right interesting the piece number three or the module three is going to be there must be somebody in this computer system who is going to write the message address of the remote computer on the message and this is going to be my module number three let's talk about module two what is going to happen there Previously, in the case of postal service, we were not taking this into the consideration that whether Mr. Rahul is there on the address B or not. Anjali was not checking this. She was just writing the message, putting them onto the post box. But yes, in the computer system, it is possible to check whether the destination is there or not, right? and there is a separate module for it or maybe protocol for it i should not use this word protocol which we are going to introduce do not worry about it right so if i say that basically there are uh, uh, in the module number three somebody is writing the message address then there must be some standard to it right what is the meaning of standard the meaning of a standard is the same document right which clearly say your address should be in this form 
you should write message from uh, this way or whatever right this is going to be your standard it is as simple as that right and then another module you have given the responsibility to this module let mr module check that whether the destination is there whether the system number b is there or not and if it is not there there is no point of talking at the first place right interesting and then there must be a piece number three or piece number one which is actually delivering your message it is taking the message from here it is going to be delivered on the basis of that ip address which you whatever you have written so if i divide this computer problem into three pieces these are the pieces i'm not saying we cannot divide it further we can and we should that is how the tcp ip model is going to divide them but try to understand if you want to deploy if you want to develop this system from scratch and you have maybe i have right now 89 people with me you must understand that if i make a group of people that i would say 20 people should work on this module which is module number three which says that how to write the message and basically address what should be that address looks like right what should be the logical structure of that address it is as simple as that then if i write that message i will be passing it to module number two where another 30 people are working right these people are working only to check whether the remote host is there or not interesting before delivering this message to piece number one piece numbers one says or module number one says i will be the whole soul responsible for delivering of this message the previous module has generated the message the previous module has checked that the whether the destination is there or not my responsibility is to deliver the message across maybe over a single wire or i do not know how many wires are connected or how many devices are connected in middle between this computer a and computer b it is as simple as that right interesting so we have almost 40 people here who are working on this piece of information because this is huge because this guy who is developing this module he needs to understand what a particular packet has the ip address and on the basis of that ip address he needs to send this packet to the destination right this is the complete post office system which we are talking about although the complete post office system is the complete modules if we combine them then we have end-to-end -end service writing the message and delivering it to the destination in case of computer science in case of two computers we deliver messages like this but i'm not saying that this is the exact model on which all computers are talking right this is our model guys right we have been talking about this from last two or two and a half hour on this so we have built this model if if we were in 1979 or 1975 maybe if we all sit together and we have came across then we would have built this model and maybe you never know if we refine this model then it, it can convert it into five pieces or five modules which we see as a tcp ip interesting right you must be thinking that mr vishnu you have taken this tcp ip name so much time so many times in this lecture but we do not know about it that's perfectly fine you have heard about osi also right osi has seven uh, seven uh, such modules and tcp has only five and believe me osi model is one of the most superior right and efficient model even if we combine osi with tcp ip osi ip is superior in many ways but interestingly still tcp ip has taken over the world wherever you see the internet wherever you see the internet and all these modules we are talking about tcp ip and not osi osi we are just using to learn that how our ideal in internet should be right but it is not the case we are seeing tcp ip why there is a complete reasoning behind it Okay.
and what is that reason i will let you know do not worry about it but from this board it is very very simple as i mentioned that definitely if you want to create a new solution if you want to understand an existing solution you need to divide it and i have divided the how to computers are going to talk with these three modules into these three modules sorry what are these modules you can see them you can understand them right very very interesting whatever comes to your mind as a question do you want to put some more layer you are more than welcome having said that let's move to the next board okay so whatever we have learned through those balls there the big circles there i want to make sure that i write them also right interesting the problem is going to be same and this problem is going to be same for the entire 10 days right the next 10 days we will be talking about how two computers are talking right how two computers are sending message and entire course entire 10 days are going to be around this problem only and it is important to understand this problem right so whatever we have discussed in the last board i'm going to explain you again the problem is simple laptop a wants to send message to laptop b and here are the three modules which we have talked about the module number three which is going to create this message in the form of 1010 whatever right whatever application it might be write the name of the program who has generated this message so that if this program is running here it is going to be delivered here maybe the program name is whatsapp or let's write w a and then write the destination address destination address is laptop b i haven't introduced the address so i am writing only laptop b so this is going to be my complete structure and believe me guys what is this w a i am not going to write it w a because computer computer at here is not going to understand wa it is again understanding only bits so i need to convert this wa again into 1010 right what is the address i am going to define here it is again going to be 0010 whatever because at the end of the day whatever is coming out of this laptop is your bits in the form of the current maybe if these two guys are connected like this over this pink wire then the things which are flowing over it are, are these 1010 right and these 1010 are nothing but your current levels or the voltage levels which are coming out of this nick which is called as a network interface card that is fine right so the module 3 is going to create the message it is going to say that this message is for application whatsapp of course encoded into the one and zero form and it is also going to say that this message is should be delivered to laptop b what this ip address or what this address looks like we are going to talk about don't worry about it we will be deciding our syllabus on the basis of that only that yes we need to understand ip addressing we need to understand how we are going to say that this packet should go to whatsapp at the destination right we should be understanding that but yes the job of the module 3 here is going to be that it is going to create the message write the name of the program and the address of the laptop b and send it to module 2 module 2 what it is going to do before delivering this message over this wire it is going to check whether that laptop b is there or not you must be thinking okay somebody is asking what is this wa wa is whatsapp application sorry for the confusion here guys right so it's an application because as i mentioned that if i am sending something from this computer which is whatsapp which is the application i want to make sure that this should reach to whatsapp application here because here you can run the facebook right instagram 
anything else or maybe the chrome browser or there are so many application you can run maybe you are running spotify here suppose to hear your songs how come this laptop b will know that this message whatever anjali or laptop a is sending to me is for the spotify app for chrome app for facebook for instagram or for whatsapp and that is why she is writing here anjali to this application whatever that this is for whatsapp application and then it is writing the ip address it is as simple as that and thank you so much thawal for asking asanya's question interesting right so module 2 before sending this packet out from this laptop a it is checking whether laptop b is there or not or maybe if it is there if it is in position to accept this message or not maybe it is doing a lot of work it is not able to, not in the position of accepting any messages right can we check that and this is mind blowing guys right before checking before sending the message you are actually checking the presence that whether this destination is there or not we couldn't do that in postal service example right interesting but here we can do that and if you heard about i am not sure whether you heard about the term tcp transmission control protocol and three way handshake of that this is exactly this in tcp you are checking that whether the destination is available or there or not if this is not available there is no point of sending do not worry about it if you do not know tcp or if you haven't heard about three way handshake that is perfectly fine but this is for those who know tcp and three way handshake the simple funda is you are checking right you are making the system more efficient if the destination is not available there is no point of sending the message at the first place because it is not there right this was the inefficiency we were talking about the postal service we are because we are developing a new system of the computer let's not include that inefficiency let's include the module 2 which actually checks whether the destination is there or not it is as simple as that guys if anything coming to your mind do post your question right or raise your hand so if we want the two computers should talk to each other we have divided the complete big problem into multiple module module number a is getting the message writing the name of the program writing the address module 2 is checking whether the computer is there or not the third thing is module 3 in module 3 once done module 2 is going to deliver this message once check that yes laptop b is there it is going to deliver the same message whatever this message was 101010 whatsapp application and towards the computer or the laptop b and now this is the responsibility of this complete module 3 to check what is the destination address and on the basis of destination address it is going to forward this packet through towards laptop b it is as simple as that right interesting when laptop b receive this packet it is going to see that okay this is for me because the address written on this message is my address and this is only one address in this world right which is this one which is mine and now it is going to see that okay address is mine then it going going to see what is the application i need to deliver this packet to and it sees that the application name is whatsapp and that is why it is going to deliver it to whatsapp and whatsapp understand whatever the message is and it is going to showcase you here right here on the whatsapp application this message as simple as that right so basically this is our understanding till yet after seeing the post office uh, analogy we found some problem there we included another module and we made an efficient system but is this system is an is is the efficient system or 
there are other system exist definitely there are osi is there tcp ip is there because they are running this is developed by us right but those systems have developed over the years 20 30 years guys right interesting right and what about this module 3 this module 3 is going to be very very crucial because this is the most important piece here i would not say this is the most important piece i would say this is another important piece why because this is getting the message from module 2 and this is his responsibility to deliver it towards the laptop b then uh, you must be thinking that module 3 is doing, doing so many things right at the source it is taking the message just like the uh, the guy who were taking the message out of this post box and then basically it is seeing what is written on this message in the address and delivering the message on uh, laptop b so this is huge right module 3 is huge interesting if you have any doubt any question on this board please do ask if not let's move to the new board but till this point we are talking about whatever our understanding is and now let's send a message let's try to send the message on the basis of our understanding between these two computers right although we have talked about it but in the and by the way guys this is not the uh, exact way of forwarding the packet but we know the postal office service we are actually using that to make our own system that how these two computers are going to communicate we are going to be sure absolutely sure about these three module module number three talks about who is going to create that message module two is going to talk about how how to check whether laptop b is there or not module one is actually delivering the message how i'm not sure so there could be only two cases if this laptop a or laptop b is directly connected over the in uh, over the cable or maybe they are so they are far away right but still i'm not sure how they are going to cover it because i do not have any idea about what is the medium going to be but yes i have informed that it is going it can be the copper wire because over the copper wire we can send the current which can represent the signals right but can we stretch this copper wire from india to australia or india to us are there any wires exists right existing in current world yes we are actually and i'm not saying that these are the copper wires but believe me if we are talking about india and australia you all know there is a sea between them between these two nations right and believe me we are actually running cables between them which are taking these bits one zero one zero one zero then you must be thinking that is the cable which is going out uh, from my laptop or my pc actually it is directly connecting and going over the sea no there are some things in middle also it is not that your cable is going directly to the sea but there are few guys which we call them the service providers who are actually running these cables under the sea so that your bits can travel interesting right and in india you know there are some service providers like airtel geo they have built and i'm not talking about uh, below the sea if we talk about india right india is a huge country if we calculate from the kashmir to kanyakumari the overall distance maybe it is more than 3500 kilometers and if you are talking about and if we are sending messages between kashmir to kanyakumari right then there must be somebody over these messages are flowing right and that is where people say that we have or reliance geo has built the optical cables right so we are not sure about it and we are not talking about the medium actually but we are talking about that yes these two computers might be directly connected to each other or maybe some they are connected via some service provider if you do not understand this term that is perfectly fine too 
but the meaning is simple service provider it is providing you the service it is providing you the service that it can take your bits it can take the bits from laptop a and can forward it towards the laptop b how it does that i do not know about it right till now but soon uh, soon you will be coming to know about that but here how two computers are uh, communicating if we talk about that there is suppose there is an application number one any application could be uh, this one right so it is generating a message let's call this message as one zero one zero one zero whatever hi hi there right okay let's write hi here but you all know that high won't be going as high it is going as one zero one zero whatever the equivalent of this in this thing so by the way guys whatever you write whatever your contents are where is a movie or where uh, wherever it may be it's a it's a general file it's your message or anything which you are going to send you can convert them in simple zeros and ones right and we call this conversion process as encoding process and when we want to uh, convert them back to the movie file movie or file right we call them the decoding right encoding and decoding you all know about it if you do not know that is also perfectly fine but the whole sole point is that whatever you see in the computer right movie file the song or whatever right it can be converted into zeros and ones so this high can easily be converted in zeros and one it is generated by this application and then this application is going to write that where exactly this high should go right first thing first that it is generated by application one and then basically it is going to put let use another pen which is saying laptop b right this is generated by the module one and by the way guys if you have heard about this is the unit right this is the unit high which is generated by this application right and then application is going to put this uh, 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 that this is from application one and this is the address right so this is the complete piece of information which is actually going from laptop a to laptop b from here to here but this system is intelligent enough it is using the service of module v to check that laptop b is there or not and that is why it is sending a message again because it has the medium right it is sending i know i'm not sure how it is going to send this message i will let you know it is going to say mr laptop b are you there before sending this message because if this message can flow this message can also flow are you there right and of course the destination ip address and whatever is uh, required should you need to be put right that mr laptop b are you there and this guy can respond yes i am there and i am able to accept the packet also right and if that is the case this laptop a got the green signal to send this message right and it delivers the message to module number three which is responsible to check the destination ip address which is laptop b and it is going to forward this message the message is going to be received here the same message which is hi how this message is has been flow flowing over this module 3 we are going to look into this and by the way guys this is where your routing comes into picture if you have heard about this term routing we are going to learn this is in the module 3 sorry or the module uh, whatever the module 3 is here right interesting and of course switching also will be part of this the routing and switching we are going to learn here this guy who is checking whether laptop b is there or not if you have heard about the term tcp or the transport layer this is the responsibility of transport layer to check whether the destination is there or not if and, and if it is there then start delivering and basically whoever is the application this is the responsibility of application layer to write this message it's sent to the other metal right i am just correlating it if you have read about it 
that is perfectly fine if you haven't we are going to discuss into into the detail but the whole sole point is this module number three that the red uh, this one has delivered this message towards the laptop b and here basically we have this is messages for f1 and this is for the laptop b let me write the green color this is laptop b and it is delivered of course this laptop is going to check it application one and it's going to deliver it this is how your message is going to be delivered this is what i uh, i can say from last two and a half hour of discussion this should be like this interesting and very very easy too but what we need to do now we need to understand we need to dig deeper into this routing and switching how basically this module number three right is taking the packet from laptop a and delivering it to laptop b which might be very near or which might be across the world right this is going to be very very interesting thing to understand right and we will start right from there means if you can connect two computer believe me you can connect all the computers of the world and we will go right there how to computer stock when they are uh, very near, right? We will be talking about routing and switching, and this is going to be the main focus, right? We will be talking about something in application layer. We are also talking about something in transport layer, which is actually checking whether the laptop is not there or not. Interesting, right? So believe me, this is what I would, I had, decided to cover right in this board in this today's session right there are few more information which i would like to uh, give you that how you are going to access this recording means if you want to uh, see this recording later on also which you should by the way guys right if you have any doubt any problem just see this recording how to access it i will let you know definitely once i stop the recording right but if you have any doubt, any question, then please do ask and I could see a question there. Uh, the question is from Mr. Aditya. Can a message sent by app 1 of laptop A be sent to app 2? Right? See, if app, generally it is not the case, right? We are basically very, very strict in terms of rules, not me. Whoever has developed this communication, right? If a message comes for a particular application, computer system understand. Because whatever we have developed here, we are developing here also, right? So this system is pretty strict that this message is for WhatsApp, it should go to the WhatsApp. But this is under your control, man. Right, Mr. Aditya? This system is under your control. You can capture the packet you can open that packet in some other application too. In fact, I will be showcasing you, right? So whatever the packet we are going to send over this wire, there is a tool called Wireshark. We can actually, this is the shark on the wire. It can actually capture your packet. It will show your packet, right? I will show those packets to you. Not worry about it. But yes, it's up to you. This laptop belongs to you. Just fetch out the packet, send it to everywhere if that application is capable of opening that. Okay. Anybody else? Any other question? I would like to take a pause of uh, maybe two, three more minutes. Okay. So I don't see other questions. That is perfectly fine. So now let's finish today's class. And now we are actually ready after this session zero and believe me guys this set of mine was actually required otherwise i would not have spent two and a half hours with you just only explaining something which is not going to be useful for you it is going to be useful for you it is actually it will create your mindset yes computer networking is just like any other problem just like somebody has developed postal service Somebody has also developed how two computers going to talk. It is as simple as that, right? 
if you read this with this frame of mind, computer networking is going to be easy. Otherwise, there are so many bits and pieces. You can easily, lo uh, uh, easily lost there, right? You can be easily lost. Having said that, let me set what is the expectations and basic idea of this course, right? So you are, you all are new here, right? Everybody is new here. And after two, three months or maybe five months, six months, you will be directly facing customers. And do not worry about that too, right? If you know a few things, then definitely you are going to be useful for the customer. There are many customers of Cisco, enterprise customer, right? Service provider customers, there are so many, right? And now you will be the face of Cisco to this customer. I'm not sure which teams you are going to join, but if you are the consulting engineer or if you are going into the uh, uh, technical side, right? Where basically, uh, or the tech side, you will definitely face the customer, right? And believe me, customers are just like us. They are facing the problem and that is why they are asking you and they are they need your uh, uh, inputs. They need your consultation. You can guide them if you know the things, right? And believe me, people say that you need to read a lot. Yes, I would say, but concentrate on your fundamentals. If your fundamentals are strong, then believe me, the design portion or whatever you want to do with that, it is going to be easy. If your fundamentals are strong, then you can appreciate and learn the new technologies. I think you have heard about software-defined WAN or software-defined networking, right? We have many solutions. If you are going into the data center team, then ACI is there for you. If you're talking about WAN networking, we are having SD-WAN. Do not worry about these names, but what the whole sole purpose is, if you know the fundamentals well, which is the whole sole agenda of the next 10 days, if you can build this base, believe me, this portion is going to be easy for you. Otherwise, this is going to be really, really difficult. Okay. And then you might be thinking my job is difficult. No, job is not difficult. You do not know how to do that. And if you do not know how to do that, then basically it's a problem. You must be spending lot, lot and lot time in solving some of the problem, which should be very, very basic. And that is why, that is why these 10 days are going to decide that what you want to choose. If you want to choose a difficult life or the easy one, right? I'm not saying that <clears throat> Okay, I'm saying this, if your fundamental is strong, then basically you are going to be in very good position to tackle or deal with the customers. Okay. The other example is, right? The other thing is the expectation out of this course is if you understand the fundamental, if you understand the fundamental and your fundamental is strong, you can appreciate the new technology. And if I say appreciate, definitely you can learn the technology. The problem is that if you directly go and understand SD-WAN, although you can understand some of how to implement it, but believe me, it is going to be very, very difficult if you want to troubleshoot it. Troubleshooting is also dependent on your fundamentals, right? And definitely, if you have fundamentals strong, your design skills are going to be very, very strong, right? Having said that, why we are here means if you talk about why Punish is here, why Prashant is here, why Dhaval is here, why Rohit is there. Actually, we are here to guide you. We are here to make your fundamentals strong, right? But it doesn't mean that we can do, only we can do it, right? It doesn't, uh, sorry, that statement is absolutely, it, it doesn't uh, uh, mean that you do not need to spend anything. You need to spend your time. We are just asking for your time. We are saying that three hours, whatever we, we give here, three or three and a half hours, just sit here with us. Whatever comes to your mind, just do ask. 
and it is my responsibility to make your fundamental strong so that next coming years if you want to choose uh, to be in cisco for a longer period of time that stay is going to be very very positive very very easy right so i always showcase this picture that definitely the the path if the path is going to be 100 kilometers long right there are so many things to learn in the networking maybe if you are going into the data center team and maybe you want to learn aci there right or van basically uh, or van or basically the campus team you are be, you must be learning sd van or so many things right there so if you go on to go 100 kilometer inside into this networking domain which is a big domain my responsibility is here to walk with you for starting 10 to 15 kilometers not mine this is i am talking on behalf of mr punish makhija who is here with us i am talking on the behalf of mr dhawal rohit prashant right if you want to go little, little bit deeper right really 100 kilometers my responsibility is to come with you 10 to 15 kilometers but these steps are going to be rock solid which are going to make your base and the remaining 100 kilometers believe me are not going to be that difficult but if this base is not good if the starting 10 days is not good then it's going to be a problem it doesn't matter what you have learned in your college if you have learned that button well or not it doesn't matter if you spent your time on these 10 days believe me it is going to be great okay having said that if you have any other question please ask otherwise we can uh, otherwise we can end the session but before uh, uh, once i end the recording please be here huh, i think arya ji has one question please arya uh, do ask your question I want to ask something about the schedule. Like uh, we are going to have ten days uh, for the CCNA, and then next ten days for Python, right? Uh, I am not sure on this. Uh, so basically, Prashant is going to give you more information. But yes, I can. That is correct. That is correct. Okay. Yeah. So it's twenty day full virtual. Like we can attend from anywhere. Yep, that is correct. Okay. And after that, do we have to uh, like go to uh, go to office every day or? then also there will be something that is virtual um Ari, i think uh, we'll answer these questions uh, offline uh, let's keep this particular q a for ccna specific uh, you can okay. meet me in the campus. so Arya, you are place. you in bangalore and your your home is somewhere else yeah 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 so maybe uh, you are uh, homesick now <laughs> <laughs> yeah <I have> but, <laughs> but that is perfectly fine uh, it's okay so uh, all these questions and discussion maybe you can do with prashant later on and uh, believe yes, me yes. Uh, uh, the cisco is the best place to work and uh, uh, you will come to know pretty soon about it okay yes, yes. yeah sure. anybody else have any question any doubt okay okay so no doubt is there so what i am going to do guys i am just stopping this and i will let you know uh, after stopping the recording that where to exactly get uh, this uh, uh, videos and uh, and all the data if you want to go a little bit deeper to having said that bye for now see you in tomorrow's class exactly at 9:30 bye for now <laughs>